Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. There's a simple problem that has gone viral because it was given to a 10-year-old student and yet it is baffling adults. Some say that only the nerdiest can solve it and they're asking, are you smarter than a fifth grader? So let's try to work the problem out. Klein read 30 pages of a book on Monday and one eighth of the book on Tuesday. He completed the remaining one fourth of the book on Wednesday. How many pages are there in the book? So we have three main pieces of information. Klein read 30 pages of the book on Monday. Then Klein read one eighth of the book on Tuesday. And finally, he completed the remaining one fourth of the book on Wednesday. So how many pages are there in the book? To get started, one might ask a question, when did Klein start reading the book? So this is not stated in the problem that Klein finished the book in three days or that Klein started reading the book on Monday. What if Klein had read 10 pages on Sunday? Details like that would matter for this question. So as stated, the question is unsolvable. There's no way to figure out the number of pages in the book if you don't know when Klein started the book. However, this is a problem for 10 year old students. Being a math problem, it's completely reasonable to think that Klein started on Monday. So let's just go ahead with that assumption and work out what the answer would be if Klein started on Monday. So we know that Klein read 30 pages of the book on Monday. So let's just have a rectangle that represents 30 pages. Klein then completed one eighth of the book on Tuesday. So let's draw a rectangle to be a unit that represents the total number of pages in the book. Let's divide this up into eight different segments and Klein read one of these segments. So we have one eighth of the book on Tuesday. Finally, he completed the remaining one fourth of the book on Wednesday. So we have a complete unit representing the entire book. Now we will divide this up into four different parts and one of these will be shaded to represent one fourth of the book. We now need to add all the rectangles that are shaded in green. In order to do so, we need to make comparable fractions. In the very bottom, we've shaded one of four, and in the rectangle above it, we've shaded one of eight. We need to make these units comparable. So let's take the bottom rectangle and let's split it into two parts. And we now see that it matches the rectangles just above it. One fourth is equal to two over eight. So let's add these pieces together. When we do that, we end up with three eighths. So on Tuesday and Wednesday, Klein has read three eighths of the book and what's remaining is five eighths of the book. And that has to be represented by the 30 pages that are read on Monday. So 30 pages are equal to five eighths of the book. So if five of these boxes is equal to 30, how much is one box equal to? One box will be equal to 30 divided by five, which equals six. So every single box is equal to six pages. The entire book will be represented by eight boxes. So eight boxes will be equal to eight multiplied by six, which equals 48. So there are 48 pages in the book. And that's the answer. What I have just presented is about how students would solve the problem today. It's known by different names, such as Singapore Maths or Common Core. But just for my own sake, I'm going to present it the way that I would have learned it. Let's call it the old fashioned way. We start out by saying, let X represent the number of pages in the book. Now Klein read 30 pages on Monday, one eighth of the book. This will be one over eight multiplied by X. And finally, we have one fourth of the book, which will be one fourth of X. The sum of all three of these will be equal to the total number of pages, which is equal to X. So we have an equation 30 plus one over eight multiplied by X plus one over four multiplied by X 
is equal to x. We need to add 1 8 x and 1 4 x. So 1 over 4 x is equal to 2 over 8 x. We now have a common denominator of 8. So we have 30 plus 3 over 8 x is equal to x. Subtract 3 over 8 x from both sides. This gives the equation 30 is equal to 5 over 8 multiplied by x. We then multiply by the reciprocal. So we multiply both sides of the equation by 8 over 5. So x is equal to 30 multiplied by 8 over 5, which gives the answer of 48 pages. And that's a different way to solve the problem. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.